Hello everyone, this is Cthulhu Luigi. You should probably pay no heed to that background right there, and welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Beautiful Katamari. In this level, or in this part, we'll be doing level 4 or 5 or 6 or something, the Hot House, which is probably the hardest level in the game, because in this one, instead of trying to get to a certain size or trying to get to a certain temperature, everything you roll up except for cold things will add to your temperature, and cold things will severely subtract from your temperature. Ah, bean jam pancake. That's a food normally eaten in America, where I live, the home of the free and people who have the normal culture. Everyone else has weird cultures. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. Okay, we get to eat the face off a of pizza. That's good. This level is making me way too hungry. Okay, pile of hot sauce. No, pile of ice creams. Ooh. Pile of things. No, that was bad. Okay, buffed out. By buffed out, I mean I got horribly low temperature from that. But I haven't died. <laughs> that actually is what I meant. Nuggets. That sounds delicious. Cup noodles. I want your face. Not worth it. I always like these... Oh wait, that's just a sandwich. Okay. Making me too hungry with its blocky, blocky graphics. And oh, apparently these knitting needles don't cold things. I always just assumed they were cold because they were brightly colored and everything brightly colored tends to be like a milkshake that kills me in one hit. I'm only partially exaggerating. This level has taken me too many tries compared to the others, considering all the others only took me one. And this one took me more than one. I think this is my fourth try. But I'm doing fabulous at this point compared to my other runs. I'm not sure how long that'll last. Are those like frozen foods or something that'll randomly pull me off? Surprise they aren't. Hair dryers are pretty nice, I guess, although they don't really increase it by that much, probably just because they're small though. Okay, doing much, much better than my last run at this point. Hopefully I don't run into a Santa or a pile of ice creams or something and kill me in one hit, which seems to be the theme of all my other attempts. <laughs> Whatever. Not a big concern. This doesn't take too long. It's easy to get the hang of. I basically just wasn't good at steering for the first bit. It's not like it just they didn't do a very good job of marking what's hot and what's cold, and I sort of had to guess that, like, small, tiny things were gonna kill me when I was big and enormous and stuff. Ah. Ah. Okay, so I'm actually getting pretty close to the end already. And by pretty close, I mean, dang, I lose heat at a fast rate when I'm this big. As soon as you can start picking up the fires, it gets a little bit easier, but I'm not there yet. Santa is bad to pick up, I think. I'm not sure if he himself is cold or if he's just sitting on a pile of cold things. And this is what killed me last time. You see vending machines over there. If you run into them, a bunch of sodas will pop out, and that will basically... I was at about this point last time, and it totally killed me because all of them landed on me at once, and each one has like 100 or 200 or more than that, but I don't know how much exactly. You will lose heat a lot faster than gaining heat, which makes sense since it's pretty easy to gain heat, and there aren't too many cold things compared to hot things. I mean, hopefully I won't need to demonstrate any of this. This is the only level where that in particular comes into play. Oh, public toilets, that's a thing. Whoops. Well, that's what happens when you touch cold things. I don't want to touch those snowmen because they'll probably kill me, but... This is quite helpful, but it does have ice creams at the top and basically nullify any help it ever would have been. I am going to be happy with a pass here. I do not care about score. I just want to be able to go on to the next level, which is much more reasonable than this. Also, if you go in the water, it will count as picking up cold items very badly. You cannot stay in there very long without dying horribly, and oh gosh, a bunch of ice things are flying at me. What's going on here? Once, yeah, I'm gonna try to pick up those fire. That looks good. Are those cold? No, they're laundry. Okay. I'm cautious of those, because they look sort of like things. I don't know. 
Okay, lots of fires. That's nice. It is quite feasible that I'll get this done now. There we go. That was not fast in any way, shape, or form, but I frigging managed, and that's all I care about. I don't care if I have the worst Mars in the solar system. I actually guess, well, in the real solar system, probably our Mars is simultaneously the best and the worst since it's the only one, but blah, 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 blah. It's a regular size of your order. Blah, 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 blah. 64 points, really better than I was expecting because I took a decent amount of time there. I'm pretty sure that one's entirely time-based. I don't think there's... I mean, technically you'd be doing worse if you got a bigger one because it would have taken longer to roll up the heat, I guess. I don't know. Ah. So, I do not remember what the next level is. This is a downloadable content level, I believe. Pretty sure it's like one on one of these planets. Not that one. I do believe it is Sunrise Castle. Roll up Japanese things. So, everything. And this is just for a comment. I'm not sure what the deal with that is, but. Uh, I'm not sure what the deal with the whole lot in this game is. Loading, Uranus, Milky Way, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, Pluto. Why did they say Uranus first? I, I ask that like I'm actually curious. Oh, I've never started out here before. Oops. And he gets upset at you if you roll up things before he's done talking, although I probably said that already. Ah, oh, and this is so nice not to have to worry about the hot stuff again. I just need to worry about rolling up stuff stuff, which is much more fun than rolling up specific types of stuff. I guess technically Japanese stuff, but what isn't Japanese? They have Japanese characters on them, they count, right? Even though they're not giving me any flowers. I care about my score, don't I? Yeah, I sure do. Yellow pop. Sure. I don't know why it's saying look out, I guess since it's since they're not the right thing. I don't know. Oh, it's so nice to not worry about what I'm rolling up. That's really disorienting to not play this for a while and then come back and play that level. Why can't I roll them up even though I'm not big enough? That's generally the reason why you can't roll up things in this game. It's not too discriminate otherwise in what you can or can't roll up. Lots of batteries, I guess. I thought they were packs of gum. Oh, hey. I like Odeon, you know, he's... Looks a little weird. And I'm, I basically like all the ones that are weird mutant versions of the Prince. Johnson is obviously one of them. I'll probably switch to Odeon for a little bit after this level, if I can find them. Yeah, these Darumas are worth a lot if you get them, although I don't exactly know the best strategies anymore. It's been a while since I tried to play this game for series. Oh, I do remember a lot of stuff being up here. Although, by this point, I'm beginning to question my value from staying in the shop. Yeah, as fun as this shop is, I'm probably going to have to check something else before... Or, check somewhere else. I think I was showing your, what you're doing on the TV there. I guess it probably would be, like, national news if someone started catamarying everything. Okay, that's evidently not the front door. How do I get out of here? Well, I do get a nice pile of stuff on my way out, but I'm not sure if that was entirely worth it. Oh, there's a gyroid over there. Or gyroid, I don't really know how you're supposed to pronounce it. There's a mustard balancing itself on pancakes. Maybe that was syrup. I guess that would make sense, but... I don't know. This is the Japan-themed level. They could do crazy things like mustard pancakes if they wanted to. No one would stop them. Meow. Corn is Japanese, right? Oh gosh, I'm so used to the shave ice killing me, but nope, it's good here. Good as anything else. Actually, it might be better than just anything else because it looked like I was getting some flowers from it. Anyway, these things are pretty good. Wishing plate, Tarachi thing. 
America, we're too serious to believe in wishing. We just do rational things like pray when we want stuff. Um, so, now, a bigger katamari means a roll around the city. Alright, yeah, there we go. Rolling up those 50 centimeter barriers. 